Hey everyone, and happy Monday. Um, I know a lot of people would like to refer to Mondays as Motivational Monday. And so what I thought I would do for you guys today is teach you guys a technique for motivation that's called empowering questions. If you've ever looked into NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming, then you probably know a little bit about this technique. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's not real hard to learn. Um, I'm actually, if you wonder why I keep looking away, it's because my notes are actually over there. Um, so anyway, I'm going to teach you guys how to do empowering questions. And, and you can use this any day. You can use it for anything that you need to get done. Empowering questions are just what they sound like. They simply motivate you. They empower you to get stuff done. Um, it's really easy to do, and it's super effective. You can do it for yourself, or if you're a team leader of any sort, you can also use this to help motivate your team. So, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get some paper, some sort of notebook, and you're going to make a list of empowering questions, and what you're going to do with this list is you can ask them for yourself, you can help other people with them, you can kind of just do it however that you want to do it. Um, so essentially what an empowering question is, it's a question that will help motivate you, like I said, and it helps you improve on your skills or an outcome that you're looking to improve upon. You can you know, figure out a way to be more passionate about helping others. That's a good empowering question is what can I do today that can help or empower others and, and it's something that I can feel passionate about doing. Uh, another example of an empowering question that I wrote down is what is something that is fun that can help you move forward today in any of your goals? Um, what can you do today that will make you more effective? For instance, one way that I'm more effective every day is I keep a couple of different lists. I write in this notebook every day and sometimes what I'm doing with this book is I'm just getting out all the different ideas that are in my head that I don't want to forget about. So they get put in here and then I have one note where I keep my to-do list and so those are a couple of things that I do that help me to move forward every day because then I don't have to worry about forgetting about different ideas and things of that nature and that makes me more effective as someone who works from home um, and then let's see here what can you stop doing that will also put you on the path to success. What is something that you can stop doing or that you can spend less time doing that will help you be more successful? So if you find that you're spending a lot of time on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and it's not really for marketing purposes, you're just killing time, then that's something that you can cut down the time on and redirect that time and that energy over to being more productive in building your business. We all have the same amount of time in a day. Everybody has 24 hours, and it all boils down to what you end up doing with your time. It's all about time management. So there's really no list to the type of empowering questions that you can come up with. Another good way to come up with an empowering question is if you're someone who does a lot of negative self-talk, you can actually turn that into an empowering question. So, for instance, if, if you tell yourself that you constantly fail or something like that, then you can change that into an empowering question. But the key is, depends on how you write the question and how you ask yourself the same question. So if you're saying, I'm a failure, I always fail, then you have to ask it in the right tone, even in your own head. It's, what am I doing that I can do better, that is more fun, that can also help me be successful? For instance, I'm not a great big fan of math. I have two college degrees, but I hated math. Any time I took it, I hated it. Um, still hate it, actually. And so if I wanted to get better at math, and I sit here and think, you know, how, how can I get better at math? That's a terrible question for me because it brings up a lot of feelings of anxiety. I think of endless drills. I think of learning things that won't benefit me or that I probably really don't need to know in my line of work. And so a more empowering question for someone like me would be, what can I do in the math area that I can improve on, but that I can also relate directly to my life so that I might at least enjoy it a little bit more? And so at that point, I would look at math skills that would also benefit what I do for a living. Um, you know, I work from home primarily as a writer and editor, but because of that, I have to do, you know, there's a lot of math that you have to do when you work from home because you do your own taxes and 
There's a lot to consider. So that's an example of an empowering question. It's not a great example, but primarily, you know, it's something that pushes me towards a goal. But that also ends up being more interesting to me. And because it's more interesting to me, it's something that I actually try to do. So take some time today and come up with some empowering questions. Ask yourself these questions twice a day. Like, that that's one reason why you're going to get a notebook. You're going to write them down. It's because you're going to ask yourself these questions twice each day. You don't necessarily have to write out your answers, although you can. Um, don't rush through this process, though. Stop and really think about your answers to your questions because this is how you get motivated. This is how you come up with a game plan to tackle your goals. This this is how you actually get stuff done. Do it first thing in the morning, which for some of you may mean you have to get up a little bit earlier or rearrange your schedule, and then you want to do it again before you go to bed. And then another step that you're going to want to take with your empowering questions is you want to work towards improving your questions because you may find at first that you're just kind of using some generic questions that I listed earlier. And by the way, if you Google empowering questions or empowered questions, you're going to come up with several websites that have some generic questions that you can start off with using. You can start with those, but as time goes on, refine those questions. Make them to where they apply more to you and to your situation. You don't have to do that every day. You can set up a time like once every couple of weeks to review your questions and continue to refine them. Um, empowering questions are great. And like I said, though, it's something that even in your head, if you're just talking to yourself, it's something you still have to be careful with the tone. You also have to be careful with the tone if you're talking to other people. Because if you're trying to help motivate someone who recently did something they're not particularly proud of, you have to make sure that you don't come off sounding like you think you're better than they are or that you're patronizing them. So make sure that when you're asking these questions of yourself or of other people that you genuinely sound like you're involved, you're concerned, and that you want to see better results. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, let's see. Let me double check my notes here. I already gave you the math example. Here's another tip for empowered questions that I wrote down. Think about things in past tense. So instead of saying, how can I solve problems and enjoy it? But that is a really good motivating or empowering question. Think about it in the past tense of how have I solved problems in the past in a way that I enjoyed? Because what it does is it sort of gets into your memory and you start remembering the time that you solved some problem and you had a pretty good time doing it or at least you were proud with the end result. And so then you can take those ideas and apply them to whatever it is that's going on now that you need to solve. Um, and let's see here. It's not just about problem solving so much as it's making sure that you're going to enjoy the process of reaching your goals. Mm -hmm. And that you actually, you know, you look forward to your day. You look forward to moving on. And, you know, no matter how hectic your schedule gets, it's something that you're going to look forward to doing. So that's really all I have today. Um, that's about empowering questions. Like I said, you might want to look it up. You can just Google it, and I'm sure that you'll find some good examples. Do them twice a day, morning and night, and take some time to refine your questions and do not rush through the process.